With the new set Modern Horizons 3 coming out, I'm going to be playing one of my favorite lists in Modern, Death and Taxes. We're going to be adding many new cards from Modern Horizons, but the two all-stars are going to be Felia and Ajani. Ajani is a 2-mana 1-2 that when it enters the battlefield, it makes a 2-1 cat. And whenever one of our cats die, it flips over and becomes an insanely powerful planeswalker. And Felia is a 2-mana 2-2 with flash that whenever it attacks, you flicker something and it comes back on the end step. And when looking at our list, the flicker is super powerful. We're playing cards like Stoneforge mystic a johnny solitude and in addition we can just exile our opponent's stuff and get through on board and we will not forget to mention white orchard of the phantom which works extremely well with leon and arbiter so we're going to be taking this sweet new list and brew into the modern format to see how powerful dnt now is with the modern horizon three cards match when we're on the draw and starting hand looks pretty good i'm gonna go turn one island we draw a ghost quarter we'll go planes into an eighth vial and plays out a cavern into a lord of atlantis we draw a volatile fault we will play out our planes and pass the opponent when it plays out a mutavolt attacks in and we will try and ambush this lord and we take it down the opponent passes back and on our upkeep they flash in a tide binder turning off our vial we top deck athalia we will play out our ghost quarter play leon and arbiter and take out one of their lands here we'll get rid of their island Opponent attacks in for three we'll take it opponent passes back we will play out our fault and then go to combat and attack in for two and we'll pass back opponent attacks in for three and passes back in step we will flash nerfilia and they dismember our leon and arbiter in response Ooh, we top deck a land we will play that out play our leon and arbiter and use our vault to take out their cavern. <laughs> no lands with the opponent. We will attack him with Philia. Exile our Aether Vial. And opponent takes two. Opponent plays out their own vial. And no attacks. And we find another Philia. We'll go to combat. Attack him with the team. Exile their Tishana's Tinebinder. Down to seven. And oh, they scoop it up. Let's get on to sideboarding. We're going to take out three Thalias for three March of Otherworldly Light. Game two, starting hand is pretty decent. So we'll keep. Opponent leads on turn one island into a vial. We top deck another Ajani. We will pay three life and go turn one giver. Opponent plays an island into a Lord of Atlantis. Ooh, we top deck a March. That's really good. We'll fire it off on their Aether Vial. I'm going to place out a tap land and a Taxon for two. Top deck a Ghost Quarter. We'll play that out into a Johnny. Instead, they flash in a Merfolk Trickster and tap down our Giver. And opponent plays out another Lord of Atlantis and a Taxon for seven. We top deck a Solitude Great Draw. We'll play another Johnny and we'll keep one of them around, which means that we get to flip our Johnny. Use our zero ability, making a 2 1 cat. And we'll pass back to the opponent. On our end step, they Flashing a trickster, taking out our giver of runes, or tapping our giver of runes. Then they play out another master and attacks in with the team. So we'll evoke out our solitude, pitching a Leon and Arbiter. Take out one of the lords. We'll double block a lord and chump block a Merfolk trickster. We top deck another ghost quarter. We'll zero our Johnny. Then play out a Leon and Arbiter and play out another ghost quarter. And on the upkeep, we will try and take out their glass pool shore. They do not pay for Leon and Arbiter, so that's nice. So in their draw step, we will try and take out their Ottawa right now. And again, they do not pay for Leon and Arbiter, so let's go. When it goes to combat, attack in with everything. So we will block a Merfolk, block the Master, and go down to one here. Then we will protect our Leon and Arbiter. We'll play out our Amiris tapped, make a 2 2, and pass to the opponent. The opponent plays out a Glass Pool Mimic, copying their Trickster, tapping down our Giver. Ooh, Solitude off the top is pretty good. We'll make another cat, and then play out our Archon, then attack in with one of our cats. Ooh, a Sphaloon for the opponent. And we do draw a white card, so we will evoke out our solitude taking out their Sphaloon and opponent scoops it up we are 1-0 and oh. let's get on to the next match match two we are on the play and certain hand is a little weak but we'll definitely keep we'll lead on turn one planes into an aether vial and it goes turn one surveil land Ooh, we top deck in a johnny we will play out another aether vial into a ghost quarter when it fetch shocks and passes back to us we top deck in a marius call we'll play out our fault and play an archon and on our end step they flash into bowmasters on attacks in for two here guess we'll Block. Yep, and they do have another Bowmasters. And they play out a Pendlehaven into a Halfling. And end step, we will Vial in our Philia. Ooh, Razor, Grass, Ambush, pretty good. We will Vial in our Johnny. Then attack in with Philia. Exiling our Johnny. And no blocks from the opponent. We'll play out a Tapped Mary's Call. And it plays out a Besaju into a Scavenging News. Into a Delighted Halfling. We top deck another land. We'll go to combat. Attack in with Philia. Exiling our Johnny. And they go to block with their Scavenging News. They eat our Archon. And then go to eat their Ghoul. So in response, we will Razor Ambush this and we're gonna hold this land hand Ooh, an opponent does find a yagmoth here yeah we top deck a giver so we'll play that out and at this point we're just too far behind yagmoth is just like absurdly powerful against us so we're gonna scoop it up and sideboard here we're taking out three thalias two archons and two phantoms for three marches and four sanctifiers game two starting hand looks perfectly fine we'll lead on turn one planes and it goes turn one surveil land we draw a white orchid we'll go planes into a leon and arbiter <laughs> they have another tap land and they've been a blooming marsh playing out a young wolf 
Ooh, we find a fault. So let's play that out. Activate it, taking out one of their lands. We get a treasure and then we will play out our phantom. Take out their other lands. We find an Ajani. We'll go to combat. Back in with the phantom. I'm gonna place out a swamp and then a cursed marauder. And we'll sacrifice our Leonin Arbor, I think. And then we'll flash an Arphelia. Ooh, we found a vault. We'll play that out. Cast out our Stoneforge Mystic. We'll pick up a Cauldra. Go to combat. Attack in with the team. Exile our Stoneforge. And opponent double blocks will take out their young wolf. And then our Stoneforge re enters. We'll pick up our Sophie. I'm gonna cast out a Scavenge News into a Dried Arbor. Then they attack in for two. Ooh, we find a land. Okay, that's pretty good. We will activate our Stoneforge Mystic. Put in a Sophie. Equip Sophie to our Orchid. Go to combat. Attack in. And we are on the Mana Denial plan. So we'll take out their Dried Arbor. Another Leonin Arbor. Pretty sweet. I'm gonna place out a Wall of Roots into a Court of Calling for one. Picking up a Haywire Might. We find a March. We will activate our Stoneforge. And then a Cauldra. Go to combat, attack in with the team. They block with their Haymire Might and then take out our Sword of Fire. Nice. Opponent's down to seven, and we will fire off this march on their Wall of Roots now. Opponent plays out another Wall of Roots and then activate Scavenge News, and they attack in for five. We find an Amarius Call. We'll play out our cap, take out their land, go to combat, attack in with the team. Opponent's down to one. We will bolt in this land and play out Najani. Opponent plays out a Cauldron. We tap deck another Stoneforge Mystic. We will go to combat and and just attacking with everything. And they scoop it up. Let's get on to game three. Game three, our starting hand looks pretty good. Opponent leads on turn one Verdant. We'll go turn one Taplin. Opponent plays out a Blooming Marsh into a Halfling and a Young Wolf as well. We pick up another Plains. We'll play that out into a Leonin Arbiter. Opponent goes to combat, attacks in, no blocks. And then they play out a Grist the Hunger Tide. Wow, bending a Yawgmoth. That is not good. <laughs> good news for us. They sack their Young Wolf to kill our Leonin Arbiter. We top deck another one. We'll play that out into a Plains. Opponent ticks up. Then they play out a Forest into a Wall Roots into a a six. Interesting. We find a phantom. So we'll play out our Ganjo, play out Sanctifier exiling their Yawgmoth, which is important for the six. And then we'll play out another Leonin Arbiter. Opponent ticks up with their Grist. They play out a Young Wolf. We top deck an Amarius Call. We'll play that out tapped. Play out our White Orchid Phantom. Take out one of their lands. And they do pay for both Leonin Arbiters to uh, get a Swamp. Oh, and they have a Court of Calling here on the end step. So sadly, we are going to be losing this game because the opponent just gets a Yawgmoth here. Yep, and we just cannot beat a Yawgmoth. So we will scoop it up and get on to the next match. Match three, we're on the play and Star Hand looks great. We'll lead on turn one planes into an Aether Vial. Our opponent goes turn one Fetch Shock into a Prismatic Ending, taking out our Aether Vial. Top deck another Mira's Call. We'll play out our Fault into a Stoneforge. And we'll pick up our Sophie. Ooh, top deck Ophelia. We'll lead on our Giver. And then bolt in our Mira's Call. Passing back. Our plays a Misty Passing. We'll bash in our Ophelia. Ooh, Leonin Arbiter. That is very, very good. We'll play out our Leonin Arbiter. That resolves. We'll play out our Ghost Quarter. Go to combat. Attack him with Ophelia. Exile our Stone. Forge Mystic. Stoneforge re-enters. We will pick up a call. Oh, never mind. I forgot about Leon Arbor. <laughs> I'm dumb. <laughs> we'll shock in our Amiria. Activate Stoneforge Mystic. Put in our Sophie. Equip Sophie to Philia. Then we'll go to combat. Attack in for seven. Trigger Philia. Exile our Stoneforge again. And they're going to Ottawara Arphelia. We could pro colorless it. Yeah, we'll pro colorless it. And opponent scoops it up there, not thinking that sword falls off, I believe. I don't know why they would scoop there. But anyways, let's get on to sideboarding. We're going to take out two Solitudes and a Johnny and Ophelia for four mana ties. Game two, starting hand looks really sweet, so we'll keep. Opponent goes turn one Strand. We top deck a Vault. We will play our planes and do a Giver. And opponent Stern Scoldings our Giver, unfortunate. Opponent plays a Scryland. We find a Orchid. We will play planes and pass the opponent. They play a Triumph. We will flash an Arphelia. Ooh, a Johnny's a great draw. We'll play our Fault, play a Johnny, and they go to counter it. We will Mana Tithe. Let's go, Mana Tithe! He 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 he. That's so good. Oh, in response, they flash in a Solitude, taking out Arphelia. We'll take those. Someone plays out a Gyro Reach into a One Ring. Up to a Ghost Quarter. We'll play out our Stoneforge, picking up Sword of Fire and Ice. Play out our Razor Verge as a Plains, and play out a White Orchid. And we'll take out their Triumph. Attack Attacking in for three. Opponent draws two off the Wandering. Then they cast a Preordain. Uh, they fire off a Prismac Ending <laughs> without paying two colors. So our Johnny lives. Then they fire off another Preordain. We top deck a Giver. We'll activate our Stoneforge. Putting in a Sophie. We'll equip it to our Cat Warrior. Combat. Attack in with the team. Shoot the opponent for two. Draw another Johnny. 
play out our ghost quarter and just pass back they draw three with the one ring up to seven cards they play another one ring then they play out a ley line binding taking our sophie drawing a card with the one ring we find a thalia we'll play out our johnny which means that we will flip our johnny we'll zero our johnny and then play out a thalia oh, it draws two with the one ring then activates sky reach and they scoop it up let's go on to the next match match four we are on the draw and starting hand looks insanely powerful it leads on turn one island into a period we draw another fault we will lead on turn one planes into an aether vial it plays a delta passing we'll lead on ghost quarter and pass back and in step they surveil a counter spell into the yard Ugh. in their upkeep they flash in a tide binder taking out our vial we find a maria's call we will play our planes play out our cap and take out their thundering balls they bolt our leonard arbiter attack in for three Ooh, we top deck another vial we'll play out a volatile fault play out our aether vial and then play out a phantom which they stern scolding don't cast an ei exiling an island playing it out and attacks in for three we find ophelia we will play out a ghost quarter and pass someone plays out a hall attacks in for three and on our upkeep they flame of anor destroying our aether vial and drawing two Ooh, we draw leonard arbiter we'll play that out fire us a ghost quarter on their red sword play a fault and take out their hall and it plays out a player delta attacks in for three Ooh, thalia is a good one we will lay out thalia in response they cast a snapcaster targeting a lightning bolt so we'll take this opportunity to take out their polluted delta then play out a tapped land and pass the opponent i'm gonna cast out a preordain no attacks from the opponent we will play out another amarius call and pass back and actually before passing back we're gonna put in our philia before it can get sniped by counter spell when it pays for leonard arbiter fetching out a steam vents shocking them then they pass back Ooh, we top deck a sophie we will go to combat attacking with our philia exiling our aether vial the opponent just takes the damage so we'll cast out our sophie and pass back it untaps bolting our thalia and attacks in with the team i think we do have the chump here or trade apologies nothing else from the opponent we will tick up our vial Draw another vial equip our sophie philia attack in yes we will exile our aether vial again board connects we'll kill their snap Ooh, fine another thalia we'll play at our vial into a thalia when it plays a land casting a flame of anor taking out her sword pretty good from them we'll take up our vials find a volatile bolt we will go to combat attack a team exile an aether vial and we will use our fault now just in case they don't have any basic mountains and they don't we're taking them off red that's huge and we how <laughs> we take that one i did not expect that i think this is like a great example of how grindy this deck can be and how powerful this stuff is let's get on to sideboarding we're gonna take out four solitudes for four sanctifiers game two starting hand looks really strong don't leads on a turn one steam vents we'll lead on turn one points someone plays out an island we top deck thalia we'll play planes and cast our thalia out, which meets a stern scolding on cast a dress down plays out a tapped land we top deck an archon but i think we're going to take this opportunity to get a leonard arbor down and ghost quarter one of their red sources on flame slashes our leonard arbor playing out a scolding tar we will shock in our maria's call and cast out an archon on untaps bolting our maria top deck a giver we will We'll play that out and hold up philia no land for the opponent so cast out our philia on their end step which does meet a lightning bolt Ooh, top deck a vial good draw played out then cast out our johnny that also resolves sweet and on our end step they flash in a snapcaster made on untaps killing our giver and drawing two no land from the opponent that's sweet we'll take our vial go on to the leon arbor and we'll take this moment to resolve our sanctifier go to combat attacking for two and pass back nothing from the opponent we'll take up our vial Ooh, stoneforge is huge we'll go to combat attacking for two they do trade here so we'll flip our johnny never mind to shana's tide binder fun card so we will vial in our stoneforge mystic picking up a sort of fire and ice and then resolving a leonard arbiter nothing from the opponent Ooh, we top deck ophelia we'll go to combat back in with leonard arbiter and they do trade here i wonder how this works with the johnny yeah i didn't think it would work and we will pass back to the opponent and for those wondering leonard arbiter is a cat but it was turned off because of tide tidebinder when it plays out a fetch land so in response we will put in a leonard arbiter never mind they have a tidebinder so we'll take this moment to get our stoneforge mystic or our sophie into play Ooh, ghost quarter off off the top we will equip our sophie to our sanctifier go to combat attack in feel for the opponent shoot down their tide binder up deck another stone forge play a ghost quarter valen leon and arbiter and take out one of their lands and they scoop it up wow this deck is looking so impressive let's get on to the fifth and final match match five we are on the draw and hands a little too slow here so more and our six is much stronger we'll keep and put back a cauldra well, it leads on turn hollowed fountain cigars aid and two ornithopters we top deck another aether vial we will shock in our land and and play out one of our vials oh plays out a saga passing Ooh, we top deck a giver we'll play out our vial and pass land go from the opponent and step we will vial in our giver and step they flash in a 
Paradise Mantle. Then they go for a fetch land. So in response, we will vial in our Leon Arbor. And they do pay to ignore the effect. On their turn, they make a construct. We top deck another Johnny and we'll pass. Gonna plays out a Fludge Train, attacks in. We'll block with our Leon Arbiter and give it protection from colorless. And in response, opponent plays out a Shadow Spear. And on the end step, we will activate Vile, putting in Ophelia. And in response, they pay for Leon Arbor and go to fetch. And then we will also put in a Johnny. Another a Johnny off the top. We'll go to combat, attack in with the team other than Ajani, exile their construct. Then we will vial in an Ajani, flipping our Ajani. Then we will tick up our Ajani, putting a plus one on all of our cats, and pass back to the opponent. opponent plays out a Nadu, tries to equip their Ornithopter. So in response, we're just gonna put a Thalia into play. Then they equip the Paradise Mantle to another Ornithopter, getting another Nadu trigger. And they drew a Pure Steel and a Stone Forge. Then they equip to the Nadu itself, getting another trigger, revealing another Pure Steel. We draw another Philia. We will down tick our Ajani. And I think we have Lethal here. Math is for blockers, but let's attack in. Exile their Nadu, triggering it. And yep, that is lethal. Okay, I didn't want to have to do the math. But anyways, let's get on to sideboarding. We're going to take out three Thalia for three March. Game two starting hand looks fine. Opponent leads on turn one Howled Fountain into a Cigar Zade. We find a Stone Forge. We'll go turn one Tap Land. Opponent plays out a Saga into a Spring Leaf Drum. We top deck another Stone Forge. We'll play out our Fault and pass the opponent. Opponent plays out an Ink Moth Nexus into a Stone Forge Mystic. And end step, we will flash in our Philia. Another Philia off the top. We'll play out a land then cast in a johnny and then pass to the opponent and in step they flash in a colossus hammer equipping into their stone forge they float a mana off saga picking up a shadow spear equipping it to their stone forge and then play another stone forge mystic picking up another colossus hammer then they attack in we will declare no blocks they try to equip another colossus hammer so we will solitude in response pitching a stone forge mystic that does resolve sweet and then opponent cast a prismatic ending taking out our johnny that's fine Ooh, give her huge draw we'll play out our giver play out our stone forge mystic pick up our Cauldra, attacking with Philia, exiling our Stoneforge Mystic, and then Stoneforge re-enters, and we'll pick up a Sophie. Yeah, they play out a Pure Steel Paladin, equipping everything to it, and they didn't kill us for some reason with the Ink Moth, so we'll block and go down to one. Oh my gosh, we top decked a Solitude 2? Okay, we're gonna have to take this opportunity to Solitude, exile, and our Philia take out their Pure Steel. They're up to a casual 59, then we will attack in with our Philia. Yeah, I guess we'll just attack in and, and exile nothing. Oh, it animates Ink Moth and equips Shadow Spear to it and attacks in. Yeah, we'll use our Fault now and just take out the Ink Moth. And they just have a land here, so we're actually going to put in our Sophie here and we can untap. Oh, okay, another land's not bad. And we will equip Sophie to our Stoneforge Mystic. Go to combat, attack in, exile Colossus Hammer. Yep, and they're forced to chump here and they now have no creep so they can't equip anything. Then we will play out our tapped land and pass. Oh, they tapped like a Nadu. Are you serious? Yep, they equip it with a Shadow Spear, getting a trigger, finding a Assimilation of or Assimilation Aegis. Don't know what this card does, but whatever. Oh my goodness, we top deck a Solitude. This just can't get any better. And yeah, we'll just Solitude now, getting rid of the Nadu. And they reveal an Ink Moth putting it into play. We'll go to combat, attack in, exile nothing, trigger sword, shoot the opponent for two, finally own an Arbiter, play that out, and pass. They play out a Assimilation Aegis, exiling our Philia, then play out a land, animate Ink Moth, and attack in for an Infect. We find a Giver, we'll play that out, attack in with our Stoneforge Mystic, shoot the opponent for two. Oh my goodness, we find a Fault, we'll play out the Fault, take out their Ink Moth before they can equip it with the Assimilation Aegis. We have top decked like an absolute pro, and they have a land here. We find a Ghost Quarter, play that out, equip Sophie to our Leon Arbiter, activate Sophie, or Stoneforge Mystic, put in a Cauldra, attack in with the team. But I don't think they have any haste threats. Let me top deck in Mary's Call. And it plays out an Ink Moth and equips it the Aegis and equips it with a Shadow Spear. We top deck a Fault. I think we might have actually lost this game. No way. I threw. Go to combat, attack in with our creatures and shoot them with our sword. Find another planes and yeah, I think opponent has this here. Oh wait, this doesn't have flying. Never mind. I'm lying. We'll play our planes. Pass. Oh, they top deck a cryptic coat, which makes it unblockable. Oh wait, they messed it up. We still have hope. <laughs> 
<laughs> we still have hope. Okay, they bounce cryptic code to their hand. Oh, they can pay for it again though. Yep, that's fine. See if they trigger it right this time. Yep, and they do. So opponent sadly does have us here. So we have to scoop it up and get on to crazy game three, hopefully. We're on the play and starting hand doesn't have enough land, so we got them all. Another land light hand, so we're going down to five. And our five looks fine. We will keep putting back two solitudes. Lead on turn one, tap land. Currently on flow's strand. We'll play out a ghost quarter and hold Ophelia. Opponent plays out a heat and passes. We'll flash an Ophelia. Ooh, a Leon and Arbor. Not bad, but we'll play out our Ajani here. Then attack in, exile our Ajani. Then grow our Ophelia and get another cat. When it shocks in a temple garden, playing out a Nadu. Up deck in a Marius call. And we'll cast a march on the Nadu. I guess exiling our Marius call to do so. And they reveal a Stoneforge Mystic. We'll attack in with the team. Exile our Johnny. They're down to seven. They play an Ink Moth Nexus into a Spring Leaf Drum. Then play out a Giver. Then they play out a Stoneforge Mystic, revealing an Assimilation Aegis. We top deck a Giver, so we will cast our March on their Stoneforge Mystic, exiling our Leon Arbiter. Then go to combat, attacking with the team, and they scoop it up. We went positive. Four one. Great start. When looking at this list, all I can really say is I was genuinely super impressed with a lot of the stuff. A Johnny was extremely powerful. Powerful. Philia was absurdly powerful. I think out of all the new cards that were kind of underwhelming, the fan or the White Orchid Phantom was a little bit underwhelming. But we even had a point where we had Philia, White Orchid, and a Leonin Arbor out on the board, or we had that potential. Although we never set it up, and that's kind of like a huge combo to really have in the list. Maybe that's not really want to be. But I do think Philia and for sure Johnny are mainstays in this list. And in addition to all that, we even got to manatize someone. So even though like it didn't pan out too too well for us, we got to do it. So I was super excited to play this list. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Please consider leaving a like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next one.